Hi, this is J2 here, and this is a response video on how to install a network printer on Windows. And before you start this, the three main things you will need is actually the IP address, default gateway, and subnet mask. And if you don't know how to set these up, you can always go to the control panel on your printer, scroll down the menu until you find network information, and just print that up. And you'll be able to find the information on the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. So I went to my printer and did a network information printout and here I got my IP address, subnet mask and gateway. And these are the information which I'm going to be using to connect the computers to my printer. Alright, so here is the um, Windows 8 desktop. So I'm just going to go to the top right corner to bring out the bar. Scroll down to setting and control panel. And in the control panel, I'm going to go to network and sharing center and change adapter setting. So here is the list of all your network adapter. For example, if you're to have a wireless network connection, one of these could represent it. And if you're to have a integrated network adapter, one of these could represent it too. So let's say I'm going to be using this connection to connect to my printer. So basically they both have to be in the same network. So I'm just gonna right click it and property and then scroll down until I see Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IP v4 and click property and then instead of obtaining IP address automatically I want to use the following IP address the reason I want to use the following IP address because I want the printer and my network interface card to be in the same network okay so this four octet for the IP address four for the subnet mask four for the default gateway and four for the server. And these are octave right here. One, two, three, four. And we're seeing as this right here. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So basically what you want to do is make sure the first three octave right here is the same as your printer. And the next four right here is the same as your printer. Along with these four right here and these four right here. And make sure the last one right here for the IP address is actually different from your printer because this last one is actually for host, not for the network. Now I will type in the network information which I got it from my printer. So for the IP address, I will be typing in 192.168.1 and subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and default gateway will be 192.168 dot one dot one and for the DNS server I'm just gonna use the same as the default gateway so 192.168.1.1 and then I'm going to go back to IP address and for the host for the IP address the host number my network printer is already 9 already so I'm going to be using any other number beside 9 so I'm just gonna use um, I don't know 6 and that will be the host number for my network interface card. After clicking OK, my printer network interface card and my computer network interface card will be in the same network. And then when they're in the same network, all that's left is to connect both of them together. OK. And then close that. All right. All that is left is to follow the previous video which I made how to install a network printer. But on this video, I might as well finish the next step and just go to the top right corner to bring out the bar again. And scroll down to setting, control panel, device and printer, add a printer. And that's going to click on the printer that I want is enlisted. And then I'm going to click on the radio button for add a printer using TCP or IP address or host name and click next. And then um, for the host name and IP address, I'm going to be using the IP address for, of my printer. So it's 192.168.1.9. And right here, it's going to create a port connection with this IP address. So I'm going to click Next. And it's going to leave it default, Next. And then look for my printer, Samsung. 55 series and click next 
and usage driver to currently install and next and that's it finish